my students have been working on evaluating uh, equations using geometry and this item is particularly challenging for them and they asked me if I could demonstrate how I would solve this so let's read what the challenge is asking us to do and try to make sense of the problem it tells us that Sonia says the area of the frame around her photo the shaded region of this image is 11 inches square is she correct? Use the image to help you. Okay, let's look at this. She has area equals length 1 times width 1 subtract length 2 times width 2. Okay, the, the way I see this, the length and width that she's referring to is the outer edge of the picture, the outer edge here. And so we could say 7 times 5, and I'm just going to do that mentally, and that's going to give me 35 inches square. And then inside this part here, this part here, it says 6 inches long by 4 inches wide. So that's going to give me 24 inches square. So when I subtract the area that's here, when I subtract this area here from the outer edge of the frame, or the border here, frame, uh, 35 subtract 24 equals 11 inches square. So my answer would be yes, uh, Sonia is correct that the uh, gray shaded region of the image, that the frame around her photo is 11 inches square. And I use what I know about finding the area of composite figures, and that's pretty much just kind of a composite figure. And by doing that, I was able to figure out that 11 inches square is the area of the frame around her photo. Now, boys and girls, if I were a sixth grade student uh, acting as random reporter for my group, what score would I deserve? Hundred. Yeah, hundred. I told you my math practice. First thing I do is make sense of it. That goes to number one, but then I said I was going to use what I know about the area of, well, in this way, composite figures, or I could say the area of the two rectangles. Also, I showed you my process, and I gave you a correct answer. So, yes, that would be 100. Now, how many of you had that answer? Yes. She is correct and explain why. How many of you did that? Okay, I see several hands of kids who did do that. How many of you understand now why the answer is correct? Okay, there's hope for us. Great. 